This is a 34 meter Hogvort. It's 2002 build with a 2021 refit and it is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Wait till you see the inside of this. It's fabulous. It's a steel hull, it's Dutch built, aluminium superstructure and it is just an amazing piece of kit and we're going to do a full tour. We're going to every area on this, we're going into the cabin areas, we're going into the guest areas, we're going into the crew areas, we're going to all the deck areas, the engineering areas, the engine room. We are doing everything and you're going to want to see everything because it is beautiful. So we're going to start here. We've got the cockpit obviously at the back of the boat as you can see and then we're going to head in this way. Check that out. That is absolutely stunning. What's great about this is it has the feel of an ultimate classic, but yet it's got all the latest things like the air con, like the TV that rises up from here. So you don't feel like you're missing out on all the comforts and amenities, but you do feel like you are somewhere very special indeed. It's gorgeous. Lots to show you on this one, and I can't wait to show you because I've just, I just had the full tour and it's just left me almost speechless, but not quite, fortunately. Nice little desk area tucked away in here. And then you've got this central lobby. This is beautiful. We've got crew areas in through here. I'm going to show you those, but I'm going to come to those in a little while. We've got the stairway down to the lower deck. We're going to see that, of course. We're also going to see the stairway up. Look at this beautiful atrium. It's an absolute work of art, this yacht. It really is. Now, you can access the boat from here because there are doors on either side. There are doors in the bulwark. So if you're against the key, people could just come straight in through here. And this would be the first thing that they come to. Let's head on forward. We've got a day heads here, like so. And then from this threshold onwards, all of this is the owner's cabin. And the owner's cabin is selling it very short because it's a complete suite, starting with this office. Look at this. What a beautiful place to work. I mean, this is the sort of boat you could disappear on for a year, <laughs> for 10 years. You could run your business from here. You could entertain from here. Oh, you could do it all. Look at this ceiling. Just superb. Okay, we're going to head on forward, show you all of this. This door here is straight through into the crew area, and I'll explain that when we go into the crew areas. I'll show you the other side of that one, and there's another door as well. The crew routing on here is actually brilliant. And we'll come right on forward. In fact, we won't. We'll stop, and we'll go into here, because this is, quite literally, the bathroom. Shower is in here as well. That's in through here, and then this magnificent bath. And then the toilet itself is in through here. And you'll notice there's another doorway just there. I'll explain the reason for that very shortly. Look at the finish in here. Look at all this marble, I guess it is. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's so tactile and it looks great. I am a little bit in love with this. You can probably tell the quality of the woodwork, everything on here is just staggering. Okay, let's come on around here. This then is the bedroom part of this amazing suite. Look at this. If we head over this way, there is storage everywhere. So we've got, for example, hanging lockers. There's a lot of stuff tucked away in here at the moment, but just to give you a, a flavor for it, all the way across here. Drawers all the way down here. As I mentioned, it is the sort of thing you could spend a serious amount of time on. You can see them under the bed as well. So yeah, a lot of space to put things away. And then this door here means that you've got that toilet that we saw straight in through there. That's great for a couple of reasons. First of all, at night, you've not got far to go. Secondly, of course, if somebody's using the shower or the bath, or whatever else, you've still got this as a separate area, able to be accessed without compromising on anyone's privacy. But what a room that is. Just beautiful. Look at the ceiling as well. Look at all this concealed lighting, all very gentle. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. So yeah, all of this right through here, all just for the owner. Okay, we're going to press on back. As I say, remember that door's there because I'm going to show you the other side of that shortly. Back out to the lobby area. Saloon, where we came into the boat in the first place. This time we're going to loop around here and head down. 
So this is taking us down to the lower deck. We'll loop right round and aft because then we will find the VIP guest cabin. And I say VIP guest cabin, in actual fact, this really is owner cabin standard again. If you had, I don't know, uh, two owners for this wanted to have a cabin each, nobody would feel short change, would they? It's just brilliant. Again, with all the storage across here, we've got AV equipment, but again, it all tucks away. You don't need to see it. You can pull these out and close them across like so. And then all of this storage everywhere. That is magnificent. The whole yacht is magnificent. <laughs> I'm getting very giddy over this one. I just love it. Okay, bathroom again, quite literally. You sink here. Love this wood panelling. It's also in keeping. Big windows in here as well, actually. There's plenty of light. We're right up against another yacht at the minute, so it's not showing it in its best light as far as that goes. Obviously, if you're out at anchor, you're just going to get view and light and loveliness. In here is toilet and the bidet, like so. Nice. And in fact, there's a shower tucked in behind here. Look at that. I think there might be a lot of wistful sighing. <laughs> Let's press on. Love that. Okay, we'll head forward. Plenty more to show you. So on this side is a twin cabin. Like so, all of these got just perfect full headroom all the way through, as I guess you'd expect, but nonetheless, there it is. AV equipment again. Storage about the place. ensuite and then what we have here is a shower on this side fussily and if we spin on round we've got toilet in there nice Step across and a similar sort of cabin, except for the fact that this one has got a double bed. And again then, storage dotted about the place, AV equipment again, and of course an ensuite. Similar kind of deal. We've got the shower in behind here. Very lovely size and a weird wave in the mirror. I don't think we have. There it is. We mirror waving fans. Toilet in there. Now, the other thing to mention about this area is the fact that this is another service door. So that takes you into the crew area. Again, I'm going to show you the, the other side of that. But the idea is that to get from the crew area to here normally is up some steps along to the Main deck, back down the steps we just saw. If you're carting bedding up and down and that kind of thing, it's a bit of a trek. With this, of course, it's straight through. It just makes life so much easier for the crew. Impressive, huh? Let's press on. Okay, so I think we will do crew areas next because they are off of this deck. So the best way to access that, actually, is to go this way. Here we go. Side access again out onto the side deck, and then this takes you into the galley area. So we've got big refrigeration, as you'd expect here, and along here, we've got obviously cooking, big extractor fans, all the normal sort of stuff you'd expect to find. Again, you know, it's got everything that you would expect. Big sinks over here, the microwave, lovely view out through these big windows. Bit for a boat next door at the minute, but you can imagine when you're at anchor how good that would be. Storage, 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 storage. So if I could explain what we're into now is the crew side of the boat. So as we come into here, we're on the port side of the boat. 
can see the water out over there and this is all the whole crew domain but that door there is one of the doors that we saw that goes straight into the owner's cabin this takes you up to the uh, to the bridge we will of course show you that and if we come on right around here they've got their own access straight in and out from the side deck and then this takes us down to the actual crew cabins so if we wander down here we've got this lovely area with these two lovely ladies hello there <laughs> how are you doing all right Good. that looks like a nice comfortable area you've got there it is it's a nice, it must be a nice boat to crew, I guess. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's home away from home. Fantastic. So what we've got down here, we've got a little sink area. There's a fridge, I think I'm right in saying. This is one of the crew cabins. We're not going to all of them because clearly they are in use. The crew are very much on board and living here, but they have very kindly volunteered me this one to give us an idea. So we've got the two beds in here and then we have the ensuite. All of the crew cabins, and there are three of them, have the ensuite separate shower in there as well. So it is, as was suggested, it really is a home for home, a home from home for the crew. So this one here, and then if we come on round and forward, there are two more, one either side. One has got a double, which is the captain's cabin, and one I think I'm right in saying has got bunks again like this one. Yeah. Perfect, thank you very much. And then if we come right on forward, you can see that we've got an escape route out of here so there's another route straight out onto the deck we've also got more refrigeration up here and what's through this door here on the left is this the laundry, the left, that is our laundry yes. perfect I'll, I'll open that if i may <laughs> okay, go for it. magic and then in this one is the laundry look at this all proper stuff isn't it there we go, <laughs> a folding ironing board, that's brilliant. So that is that. Now I mentioned that service door that came through from the lower deck so that the crew don't have to go up onto the main deck and back down every time they want to go in and out. And that is this door here right ahead of us. So by going through there, you step through and you're straight into that lower deck. You've got the cabins off on either side, the VIP cabin further back just makes life a lot easier. Also down here we've got monitoring systems for the boat, we've got the CCTV is monitored from here as well, VHF radio, it's all very nicely configured. Well thank you ladies. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll leave you in peace. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay so we'll come back on up. Right which way are we going to go now? Let's go this way. We're going to ignore that but I'll show you the other side of it and what we'll do is we'll step through here and I will take you up the guest route. So that was the steps down, and these are the steps up. And this is up into this beautiful atrium area that we saw earlier. So we'll come up this way. And then what we have is this fabulous area here. So this is laid out for dining at the moment. Obviously you can use this however you wish. Bar area over on that side load more storage down in here there we go there's <laughs> like some testing going on outside we've got access to the bridge from here um, I think I'll come back to that I'm going to take you this way first of all so sliding door out onto the aft deck on the upper deck look at this and what we've got here well again dining this is access straight down to the cockpit where we came onto the boat when we walked across the passerelle. That's where we ended up. Cranes, big crane here. Another one on this side. So you can have tender up here. You can have a second tender or a jet ski. You can lift them on and off from either side. And you've got the bimini up here as well. I've got some, oh, I've got some competition here, haven't I? Let's take you up onto the sun deck. This is all about to get noisy, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's move around this bit fairly swiftly. Bit of musical accompaniment to an alcoholic video. It can't be all bad, can it? Let's come forward. You've got steamer chairs up here. This is right up on top of the yacht, of course. So the view out from here is magnificent. Look at this. And this is this atrium area. This is the top, that glass that we saw on top. And then look at this. We've got um, 
communications domes, there's three of them. So that one is, I think I'm right in saying internet. We've got two more domes. One is um, phone and one is something else. TV, TV, of course it is. And <laughs> talking here, attention to detail. When the crew finish cleaning, they line the radars, the two radars up perfectly. That's the kind of attention to detail that you get from the super yacht crew. Let's come right around all these decks. You can walk all the way around, which is lovely. There's a bar area back here. I think I might just get away with this before the music gets too loud, hopefully. There we go. So seating across the back and a beautiful bar area. Look at this and look at the woodwork. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Right, let's press on. I think this is going to get noisy. Life rafts are up here, one on either side. Let's come back down here. And then let's loop around. This is where we came out. Let's say we're back to the upper deck now. And we can come right on back, head up here. So we're going past the upper deck lounge. And this takes us then, or well, we'll go right around the front and then into the pilot house. So wing stations are up here. Look at the quality of this woodwork. It is a very hard working crew on this yacht. Another wing station. everywhere on here the woodwork is just sublime look at this unbelievable and then we can go from here into the bridge there we go i <laughs> just missed the music starting out didn't we now that is the access from the crew area so what i mean about all the crew area is all routed so that they can manage the whole boat they don't need to keep going in and out of guest areas and that works well for all concerned um, We've got seating here for people who want to come along and enjoy the ride and see what's going on. We've got the helm seats, obviously these are folded forward, clearly when you're underway those are upright. And then here we've got the ship's wheel, we've got engine controls, thrusters, navigation kit, instrumentation, just everything. Look at this compass here. Beautiful and again the lovely lighting everywhere. This is a place of business isn't it? This is absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's come back through here. Do you know what? I think we are going to get on that crew route because I want to take you around the front of the boat and then I want to take you down into the engine space. So let's hook down here and do that. So this is bringing us back into the galley. We'll come through the galley and we'll come out here and then we're going to loop round and forward. Here we go. There goes the music. Rock and roll. Part of the camera system. And again with this gorgeous, gorgeous woodwork. It is absolutely stunning. So we can come right up onto the bow here. Got more seating. We've got the anchor handling kit, of course. Ship's bell. Right up onto the front. That, I think I'm right in saying, is like a bosun's locker. Yeah, no, I'm right. It is the basin's locker. There we go. So that is for all the deck kit and that sort of thing. There we go. We'll come right up on here. And let's take a turn around. And I'm going to say it. That is little ship stuff, isn't it? That is just glorious. You can see those three satellite domes now. Internet, communications and um, TV. That is beautiful absolutely beautiful okay last thing to show you is the engine space let's walk down this side because then i think we will have covered every area hi there fantastic i like your boat if you're floating you're boating fantastic looks very relaxing see ya fantastic i don't often get an aquatic fan saying hello from a powered lilo but there it is it's just that kind of day isn't it Got these doors here you can close over. These are back into the interior again. We're going to come right on back. Drive with the music. And we are going to find the access to the engine space. So we're going to come right around here. That's the steps back up to the upper deck. And this is the access down into the engine space. Check this out. This is fabulous. Well, all right, everything's fabulous, but this is as fabulous as everything else on this boat. Here we go.
Look at these steps. This is an absolute work of art. But it is performance art. Look at this. Engines. This is almost surgical in here. We've got the generators running, so excuse the noise. But yeah. This is deeply impressive. Deeply, deeply impressive. Look at the condition of everything. Look at it. Oh. Manifolds for the fuel tanks. Northern Lights generators, one in here, one in here. And then the engines. These are a pair of Caterpillar diesels. They are 3206 and those are 480 horsepower each. Now this is no flash fast speedboat. This is a long distance displacement cruiser. So you're looking at about 11 and a half knots flat out and cruising at 10. But the big news is the range, over 5,000 miles at that speed. This is a boat for going places, going out and staying out. It is just amazing. Okay, let's come over here. Head back on round. So this is for the engineer, so he's got his own desk area here. Computer, that kind of stuff is all there. Lazarette is back here. So we have things like emergency access straight out onto the deck. This is interesting over here because this is a mist fogging system. Now imagine like a sprinkler system, you know, if there's a fire, then sprinklers kick into life and soak everything. That's great, except for the fact, of course, you end up with everything absolutely drenched, which in a yacht like this is bad news. What that does is it sends out like a mist, a very wet mist, so you don't get water running down through, you know, all the cabins below and everything else. It just puts the fire out with the misting system. And we're back to the fact that although she is an absolute classic in appearance, she is bang up to date in terms of all the facilities. That's the emergency steering there. <laughs> classic wheel, even here, classic wheel. Love this boat, love it. Right, let's come back out of here. Up into the engine space. And I got a feeling we've just about covered this. Let's come around here. Water maker. Tool chest. Fantastic. All right, we're golden. Let's come back out of here. I don't think there is any stone unturned. And I hope, I really hope you've enjoyed that as much as I have, because that has been a rare privilege and an absolute pleasure. Fantastic. It's like being on a small liner when you walk down here. I love all this. You can see the construction as well in the metalwork. Ah, oh, it's just brilliant. Right, let's come right up to the bow. There we go. Oh. Good evening, Palmer. And there you have it, one of the most incredible, gorgeous, stunning boats I think I've ever been on. I'm absolutely, totally in love with that, and I hope you are too. Huge, huge thanks to Ocean Independence. They got me on this one. They had this listed for sale. I'll put a link to those guys in the description. And massive thanks to you for watching it and indulging me in my love for this craft. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one, and we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.